Hey, what's up guys? It's Flux. Um, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video explaining my kits and multi-effects that I sent to the group out there. Um, if you got my my little project there, um, what you're going to see is on bank A and B, you're going to see drum kits. Um, C, D, E, F, G, and H are all multi-effects kits and they have patterns that go along inside of those multi-effects kits. Um, so to go ahead and explain how it works, it's, it's actually pretty simple. The reason I put it all in one project is I wanted to go ahead and have an easy way to give you guys a bunch of stuff. I didn't want to... Um, right now it's, it's kind of a hassle to put everything, you know, just one group into a separate folder and save everything in that and then, you know, upload it. So I, I went ahead and did a whole bunch of stuff into one project, and it was just easier to upload it that way. Uh, it's not meant to have, you know, your project be just my two drum kits and have, you know, six multi-effects in, in one project. It, it, it'll sound crazy. Um, you can do it if you want, but it was really just a way to, a wrapper to put it all in. Um, so once you go ahead and load it, the first thing you should do is go ahead and save each group. Um, and just go ahead and just tag it as, you know, flux group, whatever. Um, you know, I have mine already already done here. You'll see the, the flux multi-effects, um, and this these are the multi-effects that are in that project. Um, so go ahead and um, just save them and um, add a tag so you can easily find them. Uh, I have some of them separated. Uh, that way you can do that, and you'll see um, I have... Uh, the drum kits, I went ahead and, you know, I tag them. I pretty much tag all my drum kits as boom bap kits because that's what I like to do. Um, but, um, let me, uh, okay. So, let me go ahead and show you what I have. I'm going to show you, when it loads up, what you're first going to see is um, Group A, okay? Group A is a drum kit, but I've already went ahead and sent out the audio from the from the drums to another group. So you're already getting an effect on it right away. Uh, the way this works is uh, on your main output of group A, you're going to see the input. Output goes to C input, or input C, whichever way you want to say it. Um, now you're going to get uh, some delays and different things. That's what I did for the C group, uh, which is Bits of Funky Flux. So you've got a little bit um, of, of different things going on there. There's some lo-fi going on. I, I've done a bunch of different things to it. You'll also notice that there's eight patterns that came with each drum kit. Okay. Um, so I'm going to mute pad bank B because that's a drum kit as well and I don't want to hear it and I'm just gonna hit uh, the restart button so that it plays through the drum and you're gonna hear uh, you're gonna hear the drums being affected now if you want to hear what it sounds like unaffected you just change that output to master. Change the pattern. And now I can, um, you know, I can sit here and mess around with different patterns that I have. Um, and I can change the master output to hear different things. Now you're not limited to just the one input on each of the uh, multi-effects groups. You also can go ahead and jump into the middle of the chain. I set it up so that you can get different sounds by jumping into different parts of the chain. So um, some effects may have a lot of delay and a chorus and you know different things modulating the sound but depending on where you jump in at can also decide how heavy that effect is. It can also decide um, you know what kind of um, what kind of pattern you're going to go along with as well. So 
Uh, right now I'm just going to randomly kind of go through some of it. I'm going to just start turning the master output knob um, and show you some different effects. stop right there so that I can um, kind of explain something. You'll notice that E, um, it's a very intensive effect. Uh, and uh, it's, it's kind of overkill. Um, what you can do with that though is what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put my master output. Uh, my main output is going to be master. All right. And I'm going to take the level down just a little bit, maybe, maybe about negative, ne negative three, somewhere around there. Um, my auxiliary one output, I'm going to go ahead and send that to E. And I have my level really low down here, and I'm gonna just mix it in. And as I mix it in, what it's gonna do is it's gonna uh, it's gonna bring that effect in. It's a really overkill effect, so I may only want just a little bit of it. So when you so when you mix it in a bit, it, it's going to sound a lot more pleasant to the ear than just dumping the whole effect onto it. So a lot of these are meant for you to get creative with and, and play with them. Uh, so I'm going to change the pattern on E. Just changing the pattern. back to my I'm gonna turn the, the auxiliary back to none and the master now I'm gonna I'm gonna continue on through now you're gonna notice as I go um, through um, okay as I go through these you're gonna hear different different sounds um, on that one input <laughs> So you can use the patterns to really change how it all sounds. So we're on uh, we're on group F now, and what I'm going to do is um, there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select through the different patterns. So you can see how drastically different um, the sound of the drums are going to be depending on which pattern you select. Um, let's go back to A and let's check out um, G.
for instance, on H, I want to go ahead and just uh, move around and grab different parts of that sound, uh, of that effect. Uh, I can go ahead and instead of being on input, I'm going to go to just maximize. <laughs> So along with that, you can also do some interesting things. I'm going to move over to uh, to the drum kit on B. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to the master output. You're going to hear the regular drum kit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix in two totally different effects on aux 1 and aux 2. Drop the level first. So go ahead, save out these kits. You know, put them in your um, put them in your browser so that you can pull them up quick. Um, when you save them, it's going to save the patterns right along with it. Um, you know, have fun with it, experiment with it. You can also, um, while you're playing with them, uh, let me go ahead and mute this. Go back to A again, real quick. Um, another interesting thing you can do is uh, right now I have A going out through H. Um, when I do that, um, I can go ahead and mute the different effects on each.
And you can tweak the effects. So, as you can see, um, I, I put a little bit of thought into it, just a tiny bit, and um, you should be able to do something dope with it, uh, and if you don't, you're being lazy. Stop being lazy. Oh, by the way, machinetutorials.com, punk. <laughs>